Hi, I'm Judy Barr, Yoga Program Manager for the Cleveland Clinic. Today we're going to talk about plantar fasciitis. And really anyone can get plantar fasciitis. It's as simple as buying a new pair of shoes and hiking or walking, walking a lot during a vacation with new shoes that aren't broken in. What that means is that the fascia in the arch gets really tight as a result of the Achilles tendon and the calf muscles getting tight. So, to prevent or to help treat plantar fasciitis, we have to do quite a bit of stretching, regularly to prevent, but also to treat. Now, just a note, if you have any pain for longer than a couple days, it's always wise to see your physician and work in a complementary fashion with what we give you and what the doctor prescribes for you. So let's begin. First, we want to loosen up the feet and ankles. So sitting at the front edge of the chair with a really tall spine, heels pressed down, just start first wiggling the toes and then wiggle the ankles. You'll actually find you need to use your core here. Then do windshield wiper, move them back and forth. We're basically softening all the muscles around that area. Then with a tall spine, continue. Just do circles one way and then do circles the other. Okay. And then the next is planting the heels down, nice tall spine, long legs, and with an inhale, we begin to slowly lean forward. And because your spine is so tall, it activates all the connective tissue from your back to your buttock and down the back of the legs, getting a nice stretch at the back of the knees and calves. Inhaling and exhale. Next, we stand up. And on this, we just do a prance. So we're loosening the feet a little bit. All right. And one of the final pieces that's really important, we know it as the runner stretch. And I'm going to turn sideways. The key here is that your back foot is pointed directly forward. If you turn the foot out, it disengages one of the calf muscles. We have two calf muscles, and those two calf mus muscles tie into the Achilles tendon. So that, those toes are pointed directly forward, nice tall spine, pressing the heel down, and as you bend, keeping your body up. Now I'm getting a really good, firm stretch in my calf. After you take a breath or two, you can bend the knee slightly, and that'll get a little bit of a different angle of it, but the heel is still down. So the key here, again, is the alignment and a really important pressing down of that back heel. So with a tall spine, you're pressing down, and then after a breath or two, you bend the knee slightly, and it'll stretch the ankle just a little bit more. So remember, if you're buying new shoes, going for a long walk that you haven't done before, maybe a long vac a vacation where you're going to do a lot of walking, these could be good preventative postures to do. And then you may find, if you've been diagnosed with it, that this is also something that you can complement what your doctor has told you to do. Thank you very much.